What's up lads, it's the CFC Vlogger here, and welcome to another weekend preview. And it's a big weekend, there's a lot of derbies and a lot of big games. So let's start um, with the, uh, the lunchtime kickoff in the Premier League. Um, Norwich versus Aston Villa, uh, two average teams I'd say, each got a couple of players that can make a difference. Um, Norwich at home, I really didn't want or draw. Um, not really much else to say about that match. Next game is Liverpool versus Southampton. Obviously, Southampton having a fairly average start to the season. Uh, Liverpool having a fantastic start to the season, obviously top of the league. Uh, I believe Suarez will be available for this match as well, so that's a huge bonus, especially with Coutinho being out. Um, and I predict a 2-0 win for Liverpool. Next game, Newcastle versus Hull. City. Um, Newcastle getting their first win of the season last week. I believe it was their first win of the season. Um, I feel like I've still been riding that kind of momentum. Uh, ben Arthur obviously in form, Remy back from injury. So um, I'm predicting a 2-1 win for Newcastle. Next game, West Brom and Albion versus Sunderland. Sunderland having a terrible start to the season, bottom of the league. And I can't see that stopping at West Brom. West Brom are a very efficient team. And they'll probably continue to kind of. I probably won't let up on Sunderland's bad start to the season, and I predict a 1 0 win. Next game, West Ham versus Everton. Obviously, Everton having a huge result against Chelsea, getting that 1 0 win. And I think they're going to continue with a 2 1 win over West Ham. Um. You know, West Ham have had, again, an average start to the season. They've had a few good games. But Everton, again, riding the momentum of a fantastic win against Chelsea. Sorry. Um, they are, host, Chelsea are hosting Fulham at Stamford Bridge. And, I mean, again, this is the, the first of the derbies, I believe. And what... And you know it is quite it's quite a weirdly intense rivalry. I think the Fulham fans really kind of um, really enjoy it. Obviously Chelsea think they're bigger and better than that, but you know um, Fulham aren't a bad team, and I feel like they will may struck Chelsea, but three two win for Chelsea. Seeing it is Stamford Bridge, and seeing it is Mourinho, who as I'm pretty sure has never lost at Stamford Bridge, which is an amazing record, and I can't see Fulham being the ones that stop that record. Uh, next game, Arsenal versus Stoke. I'm predicting a 3-1 win for Arsenal. They looked very, very impressive against Sunderland, despite a kind of... Wait, was it Sunderland? Yeah, it was Sunderland, wasn't it? Um, uh, obviously, a couple of controls controversial decisions but I still think they've got enough to see out so obviously Ozil's going to hopefully be beatable I believe Giroud still is still going to be fit enough he's going to be fit enough to play um, if not then you've got Walker who's a great option to have up top um, so yeah I feel like Arsenal should be winning that especially at home and continuing their good uh, excluding the first game their good start to the season Next game is Crystal Palace versus Swansea. Now I'm going to predict. I think probably I'm probably going to say a two or draw. Uh, Swansea have looked good this season, but I don't feel like. I mean, Palace just look like they're going to. I don't know what it is about this game. I just feel like Palace will hold out for a draw. Um, you know, I can easily see Swansea wit going out and just hammering Palace, but I just. Just the Palace holding out for a draw, so uh, Palace 2, Swansea 2. Uh, next game is Cardiff versus Spurs. Obviously, he's called a return or face his former club, and I still don't understand why Spurs let him go. They, um, but I still think, despite Cork being a fantastic defender and a great asset to Cardiff, I still think that Spurs are going to run out 2 0 winners over Cardiff. You know, they've got a lot of firepower up front. Um, obviously, see guards and come into the play. I don't know if he'll score again, but definitely, you know, you've got the likes of the, the Ericsson, the guard, the, um, 
Palace and Sky. The next game is the Manchester Derby. The first Manchester Derby without a Sir Alex Ferguson. I think it must I think it's twenty plus years now. Um, and it's and uh, I predict a two one win for Man United. Uh, obviously people think because it's at City, Man United might go there looking for a draw, but I think they've got every. I think they should really be going there looking for a win as. City haven't had the best start to season. If Rooney can bring back that form he had against Leverkusen and then Van Persie brings back the kind of form he had last season, um, I can't see anyone stopping Man United, not even the cal- with the calibre of the City players. And the next game is the big one. It is Charlton versus Millwall, the South London Bar- the only one left in the Championship. Since Palace were promoted, um, obviously the last few weeks have been very, very negative. Obviously, prediction I think we're predicting Charlton losing or drawing every single time, and we've got a better result than I predicted. So I'm going to be a bit more positive this time, despite me and we'll obviously getting a win on Tuesday and we getting a loss. I think we can scrape a two-one win. As you know, I just realised that I wrote the wrong thing. I actually want. I actually was thinking of three. I wrote down 2 1 for some reason. I was just thinking as I was reading it, I was like, 2 1? I didn't say, I didn't think that. Um, I just know that either Bailey or Waghorn's going to score against us because they used to play for us, just how it, just how it works. The trouble and X players always score against us. Um, but yeah, so 3 2, just to clarify, was the predicted result. And yeah, um, I hope we can, if we can get a good win here, it could give us a good boost for the rest of the season. Also, I can see Mirwall winning because we haven't had the best of luck against Mirwall in the last few years. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Please leave your comment, your predictions, any thoughts on the my predictions. You know, just like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Cheers.